with you, Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89. Today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Detective Conan chapter um, 1044. So, the last chapter we started a new mystery, and of course, it is involving Shogi because of what uh, was said at the end of chapter uh, 1042, obviously. Uh, but anyway, we got our murder. Let's get to the, the bomb of this mystery. And ooh, this cover. Oh, let's party, Red Party! Great detective imagine on, on the scene of the crime. A murder occurred at um, the Shogi practice group. And this chapter um, is titled, uh, it's still, uh, th uh, oh, sorry. This one uh, chapter is titled The Majin's Eyes. Are you all right, Gendasan? Um, while tagging along with uh, Sh uh, Shikuchi to, um, Shogi, to a Shogi practice group, they find a strangled, uh, they find a strangled corpse? Gendasan? Gendasan? <clears throat> Yumi-san, contact the police in an ambulance, too, just in case. Yeah, got it. Hello, Miwako. Uh, someone's collapsed here in an apartment building in Vega District. Oh, no, get this on. He's not moving at all. Don't tell me he's dead. No way. Why? Ooh, I see. Suspecting her boyfriend, Haneda Shikuchi, Majin of an affair, uh, Yumi tailed him. She found out that the Majin was meeting with young Shogi players in this apartment unit to hold a Shogi practice session, but when everyone arrived... This shogi player, Genda uh, uh, Yasukiyo, had been killed. Yumi-chan, you're so cruel. How can you suspect me of having an affair? Can you blame me, Chukichi? You never tell me where you're going. If I tell you that I'm with uh, some other woman, uh, you'll get mad, right? I'm not the jealous type. You were pretty jealous. <laughs> Stop lying, Yumi. You two, cut the chit-chat. Yes. Um, con uh, strangulation, it seems. There, uh, Yush um... Yoshikawa lines on the victim's neck, indicating that he uh, tried to resist while being strangled. Judging from the marks on his neck, there's no doubt that the murder weapon is this electric cord that fell down near him. Then, um, is it true that before uh, Hanede, Meijin, uh, Yumi, and uh, um, uh, and Kunikun arrived, you all left Gendasan alone in the room and gone out shopping together? Yes, he said that as for, um, as for him, he prepares some finger food, so he was always like that. I know, I know I'm going to be getting people saying, like, why the fuck am I not freaking out? Why the fuck am I not crying? Because, you know, I just literally ex experienced death in front of me um, a couple months ago, but... I cried during Norga uh, Norgami, I cried um, to th uh, yesterday, so that's one thing. But also, it's, I gotta, fa I, you know, I'm facing this head on and I'm not going to let this shit hold me down and I and doing this will make me feel better I feel like the manga gods are trying to help me in some weird twisted way but it, it works but anyway finger foods uh crackers with um with things like cheese or ham on top even if you grab them in the middle of a match your hand won't get dirty someone must have done come in and done this um in the 10 minutes we were out shopping the door was unlocked so Gendasan must have opened the door thinking that it was us who came back but it's also possible that someone pretended to go out then came back and killed him right that's impossible because i went to a nearby coffee sh coffee shop and bought um hot coffee for each of us and that's um uh hishinuma uh, kosuke age 24 a professional shogi player they were a bit cold, but I really did buy them, right? Uh, yeah, we drank them in the entrance way downstairs. But anyone can make a lukewarm coffee using instant coffee mix and hot water from the faucet. Uh, no. Oh <clears throat> uh, no. The water heater is currently broken, so we can only get cold water from the faucet. I've been saying that we need to call a repairman. Could you have used an electric kettle or something? No, I broke it recently. And this electric stove, um, you can boil water with this, couldn't you? Yeah, I guess. Oh, but when we found the body, we put our bags on top of the stove right away. Look at the underside of the bags from the bakery and coffee shop. They're not burned or melted, right? You're right. We were out shopping for about 10 minutes. If the stove had been used uh, to boil water, it would have retained heat for at least 15 minutes after. I see. Then who bought this bread? I, I, I did. I'm addicted to the um, uh, the bread from that shop. It's uh, nearby, so I always buy it. And that's Katsumata Mina, age 23, professional shogi player. You could have just bought that beforehand, right? Uh, the bread that I bought fr uh, was fresh from the oven. It really was warm and it looked delicious, you know. Well, too bad there was no fresh curry bread. It's the most popular bread, so it was sold out. Looks like there's no microwave here, so it would be, wouldn't be um, possible to warm up the bread. What about you? What did you buy? Ah, yes. I bought ice cream. Uh, it's from a shop that just recently that just opened recently in this neighborhood. I brought it uh, once before, and everyone liked it so. And that's Uryu Shoko, uh, age 23, professional shogi player. And, that, and these are our three suspects, obviously. 
Ooh, the melted ice cream inside that box. It didn't seem appropriate to put them in the freezer, given what was happening, so... Uh, but it was super cold when I bought it, right? Yeah, it was cold. But as far as ice cream goes, if you secretly stored it in the fridge beforehand, uh, we all checked the fridge together before we went shopping, but there was no ice cream inside. Besides, today we all met up at the Shogi Hall and came here together, so it wouldn't have been possible to leave anything here in advance. As far as our uh, personal belongings go, um, he, uh... Ishinuma came empty-handed. Mina, <coughs> Mina and I um, uh, only carried a small handbag. Then, as expected, this murder was an outside job. Moreover, it's very likely that this is a serial killing. It's a serial killing? Uh, Shogi player uh, Nishikido um, uh, Kimuhara, who also disappeared uh, amid allegations of um, match rigging, when they found his body, um, the Shogi board placed uh, next to the body had one of its uh, legs removed. But that information was only made public this afternoon. And this shogi board has two of its legs gone. Given it's only been two or three hours since that detail was announced by uh, the media, it's hard to think that this um, think of this as a copycat crime, which is true. And I'm curious when we get if we do get another victim, if there's going to be three shogi legs missing to signify three victims. But very curious what you guys think in regards to that. Were you acquainted when um uh, Nishi um. Nishikido? Uh, no, us three weren't, but it seemed that the late Gendo-san was good friends with him. The pra the, this practice group was originally started by Nishikido-san. The members were Nishikido-san, Gendo-san, um, uh, Kishimoto Yue-san, who's uh, suffering from depression nowadays, and Uryu Kinji, who went pro the same time I did. It was those four. There's going to be four victims, and each, and we got two so far. And uh, as for um, Uryu Kinji being Sh um, Shoko-san's biological elder brother, if it's about those fo uh, four, uh, rumors about uh, them had reached me too, um, that there was a group of four people who were improvising their skills at breakneck speed. But why did Nishikido stop coming to uh, the practice group? Maybe because it was only um, Nishikido kind of kept on winning and ended up advancing a level? If one advances a level, they'd want to play against, stronger pl uh, against strong players. Um, by the way, what was the cause of Kishimoto's depression? That, I think it... It's because my elder uh, brother Kinji hanged himself. Suicide? Why? I don't know. Not only do we uh, not know why, but at that time, Kinji-san was in perfect form and on a winning streak. Um, we were so certain he would advance a level that um, we cel even celebrated early. Uh, ah, Mina, she, she was dating my brother. So you really don't know why he committed suicide? Yeah, but a short while after, uh, for a short while before he died, he mentioned some something like someone from the Shoki Association called for him. It seems like Kishimoto uh, san fell into depression or, um, uh, ever since around the time when uh, Kin Kinji committed suicide. He really cared for him, you know. After that, they didn't have enough people to practice with, so I was invited, and then I invited these girls as well. Well, these two were really disheartened after Kinji passed away, um, so it was to cheer them up, too. I swear to God, that my, uh, this is so therapeutic out for me. It is just insane. Anyway, Kishimoto, the member who fell into depression, it seems like uh, we should speak with him. He might know why the shogi player Uryu Kinji committed suicide. And also, if his suicide has something to do with the murder of these two players, it might not just be the two of them, you know. The shogi board still has two more legs. Um, so you're saying there will be more murders? Duh! No way! You've got to be kidding me! You want motherfuckers on denial! There's going to be more murders happening! Hey, why do you, um... Why do you have to go, uh, why do you have to make everyone paranoid? But I think this is what, uh, Shinichi Nichon would say. Then, do you know Kishimoto's address? I visited his house once before, his once, but, oh my god. Before I get that into that, I gotta say, Kona, you know what? You're just saying what someone with common sense would say. That, I, I gotta get that, say that. Um, then do you know, how, um, Kishimoto's address? I visited his house once, but I don't remember the address. Oh, so... Oh, let's see. If I remember correctly, his father used to live there with him, but passed away due to illness, so now he lives alone. It was a, um, a single-family home next to a public bath, right? You can tell, um, you can tell when you see it. Uh, see? There, there, the building's across with a black chimney as the public bath, and... Wait, there's smoke rising up from around uh, Kishimoto-san's house? Eh? Don't tell me that they targeted Kishimoto-san, but why in the world? Anyhow, let's get to the site. Now, let's go to the site. All of you, uh, go home and wait for us to contact you. Please refrain from doing anything on your own. Uh, don't forget you're all possible next targets. 
Inspector uh, Yuminaga, what's the situation? Thankfully, not everything was destroyed, but the resident inside was burned to a crisp. Looks like he was dead before the fire started, judging by the body's apparent lack of reaction to it. But the coroner says that uh, the rectal temperature hasn't fallen that much, so it's possible that he was uh, alive just before the fire started. So it was just before the fire. It could have been after the Shogi player um, murder back at the Baker dis District Department? Yeah, I heard from uh, Magur there was a, that there was a shogi board left at the crime scene. The truth is, there's also one here left at the scene of the fire. But yes, I was right! I knew it was half gonna happen! Um, a shogi board with uh, three of its legs removed. So, it really is a serial killer case. Duh! Uh, duh, it shouldn't! What was your first clue? Um, which means they killed shogi player Genda and then shogi player uh, Kishimoto in succession. But... Now, we can't ask about the reason for the suicide, huh? We can try with the other related people. Why, that aside, why, is, uh, why isn't that Conan Cuts here? Um, he slipped into the police car before we knew it. Um, I apologize for the sudden intrusion, so this is where you moved to. <gasps> there it is! Ah, oh, your expression tells me you don't know why I've come here. The truth is, um, I've come to suggest you turn yourself in. It was you, wasn't it? The culprit who killed Gendis out of the bank, that bank of district apartment! The agent already with his, uh, rapid fire checkmate faster even than the great detective? Holy shit! Like, who would have thought that? Like, my god, but it, this is a Shogi case. This is a Shogi serial killer case. Um, but, ooh, man, next chapter gonna be very interesting. I can't wait to find out who the hell it is. I'm curious if you guys know who it is. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. if you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Detective Conan content. There's a few ways you could do that. You can donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something on my Amazon wishlist, all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network, that's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye!